Happy Earth Day. It's April 22nd, and that's Earth Day. So uh, once a year, there's a day to kind of celebrate the environment. Uh, if you see the flag in the background there, that's the Earth Day flag. We want to talk about Earth ships. Now, uh, a lot of you may not have heard of an Earth ship, but it's a really fascinating concept. Basically, what an Earth ship is, is a house that sustains itself. It's designed to blend into the environment, be uh, basically made out of stuff that, you know, can be recycled as much as possible. Um, kind of a unique construction, very, uh, very energy efficient, and uh, a lot of times they are completely off-grid. Now, in this case, this uh, house you see here uh, is completely off-grid. There's a big, giant solar photovoltaic panel that's robust enough so that you can run computers and washing machines and all that kind of stuff. This roof that I'm standing on is basically a giant funnel and it collects up water and this water gets stored on site in cisterns. There are actually four cisterns, two on this side, two on this side of the house. And from there, the water goes into a filtration system. And there are thousands of gallons of water just stored it's all just rainwater that's nice and clean that's been collected. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice about an Earthship is the windows look a little different than they do in a normal house. And you can see that this whole face is tilted a little bit. And the reason that that is tilted is to maximize the solar energy. Now, uh, besides having a uh, a solar hot water system and a solar photovoltaic system to go and be able to make hot water and electricity. Uh, you also need to heat the home and one of the ways that you can do that is by collecting the sun's energy inside the Earthship. We have plant beds and these plant beds basically use recycled water. Now this is the back bedroom and here we have uh, bear lemon, we have banana, we have kiwi fruit growing, and the water that you see, well you don't see the water, the, um, the, the plant beds that you see here are irrigated by water that's recycled. It's basically the gray water from the house, so the water gets used twice. It's set up with three big rooms and uh, kitchen and bathroom areas and it's everything you need without being too ostentatious. It's a very practical, very warm uh, house with a very positive energy to it. Now you may wonder with a house that's powered by the energy of the sun, what happens in the winter when it's been cold for say, I don't know, a week? Well that's no problem. But what might be a little more of a problem is if you have days where it's snowy or overcast and there just isn't any solar energy making it through the cloud deck down to the house. The house is set up to provide heat at the click of a button. With the Jodel stove, a uh, gas fireplace is basically enough heat to go and take the chill off of those times when you have multiple days where the sun's energy just isn't getting through quite enough. Right, Yogi? <laughs> there you go. One, two, three. There. So it's a really amazing house. Yeah, it's a really amazing house. You think? You think? You guys like living in an earth ship? Is it pretty cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So the house has a very free-flowing architecture to it. Do you mind not doing the squeaky toy right now? That's what I figured. The house has a very free-flowing architectural form. Uh, it's, the walls are curved. A lot of things are rounded. This. The walls are curved. Are you waiting until I talk on camera to squeak that? Is that what's going on there, huh? The walls are curved. The architecture is very organic, very rounded shapes. Uh, the, 
the ceiling has kind of a swoop to it. And there's reasons for all of these things that make the house typically more energy efficient. Uh, the, the shape of the ceiling uh, on the top side of the roof, it's collecting water into cisterns. On this side, on the inside, it's keeping the sunlight from hitting back deep into the house in the summer when you don't really want the heat buildup that you want in the winter when you're trying to maximize that solar energy that's coming through the windows getting that greenhouse effect and then uh, trapping the heat inside. So the house actually will stay cool in the summer, uh, but you open up vents and you have a different angle that the sun's coming at. So all that makes a difference in how the house works. Yeah, I don't think we need the fire, do we? We'll just turn it off. There. Just that easy. There is propane. So, Every once in a long while, you can have a propane truck come by, but other than that, there's no city water, there's no city electricity. Um, it is just on its own, and it's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm.